Hello everyone, in this video we will be talking about conditional access. So let's try to find out uh, what is conditional access exactly. So when we were working on an on-premises environment, in order to access resources, users has to be in, a, in the uh, LAN, right? So they have to be in the premises. If not, they have to come through something like a VPN or virtual private network. So later Microsoft introduced uh, some additional features like direct access. So whatever the scenario you need to go through uh, in a different security uh, uh, layers. But when it comes to cloud, situation is different. So we have to provide access to internal users as well as external users. So there can be internal users who's traveling around. And some of the users, they might be using different devices. So in that case, we are at a risk. So there should be a way we can manage, prevent, you know, possible attacks. For that, we have a great tool within uh, Microsoft Azure known as conditional access. In order to con use conditional access, you need to have Azure Active Directory premium uh, subscription. So it can be part of direct Azure Active Directory Premium subscription, or it can be a part of Microsoft 365 uh, subscription. For an example, E5, you get conditional access. So within conditional access, we have some common access scenarios. For an example, we can assess users as sign in risk. My previous video, I took you through uh, a very specific, specific feature with the service known as ID protection, Azure AD ID protection. So there we categorize users or ID protection categorizes users based on the risk level. So some users were categorized as a high risk users, some users categorized as a medium risk users and some are low risk users. And then within conditional access feature, we can use these Azure AD ID protection capabilities and also we can assess network location based on the network location based on usual uh, location so we can define certain locations as a usual locations and then apart from that whenever user logs from somewhere else we can detect or we can treat this as a, a suspicious location and also using device management so what type of device that our users want to use whether it's ios whether it's uh, android whether it's windows and also what is the maximum version that we want to support right and also the client application so for example we can allow users only to access microsoft teams whenever they are outside of the office others applications are blocked simply so we can do all these stuff within conditional access i hope you understand the concept now so there whenever users are trying to log in according to my presentation or the slide so we will assess the user. It can be all users of the company or we can uh, only select specific set of users or groups. Even when we select groups, we can do some exclusion as, as well. And then what cloud, which cloud application that we want to allow users to use or what, uh, which application that we want to uh, block users to use. And also the device state and the location or IP range and the client application and sign in risk. So based on these criteria, we can allow or deny traffic, allow or deny access. And next thing is, if you enable multi-factor authentication, we can use that as well. Let's say if user has multi-factor authentication enabled, and then whenever we detect the user as a medium risk user, we can enforce multi-factor authentication or we can enforce password reset so that we can do within uh, conditional access and then this is how it works so it will be look at user so it can be a role and the group and the configuration and so on and so forth we are pretty much selecting a user and then the device and operating system of the device and the configuration, whether user is coming from anonymous IP addresses or user is coming from suspicious IP addresses, suspicious block, or whether user is coming from open VPN, right? And then the health status of the device that can be configured. And then finally, sign in user risk level. 
so that will be detecting using azure id protection in my previous video i have explained what is id uh, protection so i hope you understand the concept and also uh, you would see here so you can ask, uh, you know uh, configure conditional access policies based on uh, location device platform device compliance uh, active threats on the device because microsoft can uh, collect information from your devices using telemetric data and then assign in risk so let's see how we can configure this is my tenant and then i have uh, selected my azure ad azure active directory so you would see overview uh, tenant information and then if you go down further you would see option called security so if you click on that you would be uh, taken into uh, security configuration as a part of security configuration you would see uh, conditional access here so we discussed identity protection um, in my previous video so if you go in there conditional access you can start creating conditional access policies so let's have a look at what type of policies that we can configure this is my conditional access blade so if you go into new policy option there i'm going to click on that then i can start creating conditional access policies according to my uh, presentation that we discussed earlier so i can specify a name let's say block uh, access right and then i can select assignment or the scope definition where i can select all the users in this case then it would tell me that i'm also included within all groups group uh, all all users group or else you can specify select users or all guest and external users directory roles or uh, directory role the meaning is you have defined directory roles like administrator roles and other roles and then you can specify user group i'm going to select a user groups here and i'm going to select uh, users or groups uh, let me let let us wait until this loads up and then i'm going to select few users here right so i have selected uh, two users let's uh, select someone else right i selected two users so if you want to uh, you can select a group and once selected the group you can exclude some members of the group let's say you have 10 users in the group and you selected the group and you don't want to apply these policies to certain users of the group so you can create exclusions there so we have done that and then let's go to uh, uh, now users click uh, been created selected and then let's go to uh, cloud action So then I can specify all cloud dApps, uh, something similar to user selection or selected uh, cloud dApps. So if I go in there, you would see uh, the list of uh, cloud apps that we have within our tenant. Uh, we can specify what are the applications that we want to use or consider within this uh, conditional access policy. Let's say you have Office 365, Azure Threat Protection, various apps, right? So here Microsoft Teams, uh, Tree Stream and all these stuff right so let's say all cloud dApps here okay and then let's go to the next one and there you can configure uh, conditions right so here we have conditions right so these are the conditions that we have sign in risk so based on the sign in risk we can enforce this security if you want to con configure this let's say high risk users we're going to apply specific user list and then the all application and users who are having high risk right and if you go into device platform it would show us a uh, number of device platforms so let's say you want to check only a windows device or all the device any device or specific platform so we have android ios windows phone windows and mac os so in this case I'll, let's say any device all the device only uh, selection was uh, higher risk and then the location so you can define all the locations or any locations or trusted locations so you can define uh, the locations 
uh, here, right? So you can define predefined set of uh, trusted locations. So once you do that, so here we have a multi-factor authentication trusted IPs. So I'm going to say any location there. I just want to show you the options that are available that are available, and then your client apps you can configure. Right, so just to show you the options that we have within uh, conditional access in Windows, Azure Active Directory. So if you go there, you would see client apps, mobile apps, you know, browser-based access, all these stuff. Right, so I'm not gonna configure anything here. And then let's go and have a look at uh, device state. So it would give us uh, various status. So if you go there, all device states. Uh, let's let's select that. And then now we have selected all these. Right, so and then we can configure access control whether we're gonna grant access or deny access. Right, so let's see what are the options that we have there. So we have we can block access, right, or we can grant access with specific condition. Let's say we are granting access but require multi factor authentication. For that, we need to enable multi factor authentication first. Once enabled, we can force users to access but they need to provide multi factor authentication or else require device to be as mark mark as compliant and hybrid ad joint devices only only uh, require approve apps and all that right so you can do that as well and i just configured uh, multi-factor authentication in this case and then the session so how you gonna uh, you know uh, control the session within this so whether it's uh, uh, user conditional app control uh, sign in frequency and persistent browser, browser session if you want to keep persistency so that you can select there and then you can select uh, always persistent or never persistent so you can configure this part as well so once you do that you can configure uh, you can enable policy or report only so first you can enable as a report only policy where you can gather information to see the pattern of your organization or you can still straight away uh, enable the policy so then policy will be applied to your Azure Active Directory. So whenever users are coming from different locations, different risk level, different application, different devices, then it will be applicable for users and it will work as per your configuration. So whether if you enforce multi-factor authentication or you want to block users that you can configure using conditional access policy. So I hope you understand the concept of a conditional access policy and how to configure within Microsoft Azure. Thanks for viewing and hope to see you with next video.